this is a GIS map of the Five Mile House. And uh, what I've done is I've taken our differential GPS instrument and I've located some uh, fiduciary points on the uh, UTM 16 North grid system. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll pull tape in between these points to lay out our geophysical grids. And so uh, what I've done here is I've, I've plotted these uh, points uh, so that I could uh, work with uh, my colleagues here to uh, lay out nice square grids. So not everywhere on the property has a good uh, 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 view to the open sky. And so we have to uh, arbitrarily put points on the grid uh, where we've got good satellite geometry. Uh, as such, we'll uh, use these intermediate points to uh, pull tape at right angles to get a nice square grid. Okay, so yeah, we're just trying to set up that original meterish grid upon which we will draw baselines shot in precisely with the uh, GPS equipment so that sometime in the future people can come back to these same exact corners and know where this was uh, the survey was drawn from. We'll set up north-south, east-west baselines, mark it off in half meter increments <clears throat> and that way uh, as we run the GPR instrument back and forth uh, we'll be able to follow a straight line and know exactly where each signal is uh, produced. I uh, will put a couple uh, extra marks in the middle and as uh, you proceed uh, we'll see how Harvey runs the noggin unit on the smart cart. This is a ground penetrating radar system. We now call is it that GPR. See, that's on our line, right? Ground penetrating radar. And um, this okay. system is set up today to record 500 megahertz. No, it's not 47 data. meters. That's 47. So essentially, feet. we're working off a reflection technique where we're transmitting electromagnetic energy down into the subsurface, uh, ultra high frequency yeah. radar energy. And um, when it encounters something reflective in that frequency band, the receiver will pick up the signal, a digital signal is created, and as we move along a profile, we can create sort of a slice into the subsurface, a reflective even with his layered um, sure. picture of what the subsurface looks so like. If we encounter right on your blue archaeological objects or graves or grave shafts, then those uh, the assumption is those objects will be reflective in the radar spectrum and so we can create a series of 2D slices, interpolate those into a grid and have a, a three-dimensional scan of the subsurface if everything works right. Well, the, the main thing would be finding areas that have feature, possible features that we could then in subsequent years come in and do some archaeology and you know, maybe find a building foundation or a cellar or a well or something like that. So this is, hopefully we'll map out the area here so that it'll give us some idea of the features that are here. There was uh, a legend that there were three burials here and we have reason to believe that there are three over here, but hopefully the GPR will confirm that. Uh -huh.